Iowa defensive tackle Davion Nixon from Kenosha. Sean Wade on a corner blitz. And projected first round NFL draft pick Sean Wade at Ohio State. Just two of hundreds of Big Ten athletes disappointed fall sports, including football, are postponed. Wade's father is challenging the Big Ten Friday in Chicago to provide clear steps on how they're going to safely return to competition. So what would you like the Big Ten to do? I like them to communicate more, even with the letter that he just sent out. It's not enough communication on that. Uh, I feel like those players, they wear Big Ten, all those players, no matter where they're from, they wear Big Ten on their chest. And I feel like uh, they should do everything they can possible to let them know every step they're going to work towards to uh, have football in the spring. Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren made it clear Wednesday the decision to postpone football and other fall sports would not be revisited. Warren went on to say while risk mitigation processes, physical distancing, face coverings, proper hygiene can be implemented across campus for the student body population, it became clear those processes could not be fully implemented in contact sports. I just don't want this to continue to happen for the spring and the next fall because COVID is here. COVID might not be going away. And look out. Wade says his son is moving on to the NFL. So he's fighting alongside other Big Ten parents for athletes like Rodney Nixon's son at Iowa, who wants to play in part to better his NFL chances. But my son is 100% behind us. He's back in everything that we do. Uh, he's ready to play. Nixon will join the Chicago protest. If they had our kids doing protocols and testing and, and a numerous you know, things for COVID, why can't they play is what we want to know. Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. Big Ten headquarters are located near O'Hare Airport. The protest is expected to start tomorrow morning at 8.